Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, Mail Time is the show where I give feedback on your web design project, whatever that may be, Adobe XD, Elementor, or another page builder, because a lot of people wanna switch after what happened this week. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that again, because this show is meant to inspire each other. I get inspired a lot by the emails you guys send me, and hopefully you will be inspired too, and maybe learn a thing or two. Okay, let's get started. In the last episode, what I thought was really cool is that the two people who I gave feedback on in the episode also uh, commented on the video. As you can see over here, a pussy FX. Oh, so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> P Pookie. <laughs> Uh, and a uh, tapo deep but i just wanted to say that's really cool because that really creates a community feeling that warm feeling that we're all just one big group trying to help each other all right so if after this episode you also want to send an email the instructions are here and you can find this link in the description okay now i'm gonna open my email box and let's see what you guys have been up to and the first email that I'm going to open is this from Julia. First of all, I love watching your videos. This is the second time I email you for feedback. So I really hope you will read this. Okay. I'm 27 years old, self-taught web designer. That's cool. Uh, from Spain, living in Portugal. I've recently launched a website blog community with multiple authors. And I would love to hear your opinion on the UI and the UX. So the user interface and the user experience. It's a lot different from the conventional blog design. I wanted to give it an app feel. Why is the question? Okay, let's just go to the link. She sapiens.com. That's a cool name. Also, I love the uh, the email footer that you have over here. Uh, let's just click on the website. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, it's cool. Oh, I didn't expect this. I don't know why I didn't expect this, but this is Cool. Whoa, this looks really like a big community. Oh, I love this. I love the video background, the introduction. We educate, inform, and empower. I think it's a website, it's a blog for females. Let's see, we see females over here. Uh, popular post, how I reduce my footprint, future of money. Okay, wow, it's so creative. I mean, look at this post um listing design that's so cool with the with the one two three that those are popular posts with the views even over there i don't even know how you can do that with dynamic content does wordpress give you the data hmm okay oh here is another kind of post design she has a big one over here and she has smaller ones over here oh whoa there's a big difference in this design versus this design okay how big are these fonts? Oh, 23. Okay. Let's scroll a bit further. By the way, the website is very wide. I'm on a full HD uh, monitor right now. Uh, new here, subscribe to our newsletter. It's free and we will not spam you. Okay, and here's the footer. Let's just click on a, um, on a blog post. For example, this one. Okay, so we have the sidebar on the left over here. Do you rate this article? We can rate it. Here's an offer box, and here is the blog post, and here are related posts with stars. Okay, well, let's just click on a few more things. I'm gonna click on explore, let's see what happens. Oh, oh, you see all the offers, that's so cool. What, oh, oh, this is a slider. It loaded a little bit slow. Oh, and here's also a slider. So this is the explore tab hmm what's the difference between the explore tab oh these are the categories i see so this is more like the category page okay what is the shop let's see oh it's is it a web shop oh so it's not a web shop it's uh, more like a list of links with subcategories so that you can click on to different websites because these images link to different websites as you can see okay well first of all absolutely incredible how you were able to customize wordpress like this that is not an easy job this is not just a normal uh, blog layout and it looks like a very professional and big community 
There are a few things though, because I think that the consistency can be a little bit better. For example, you have this one over here, that's popular post. There's no image here. I mean, it's, it's nice that you know that these are the popular posts. You have a big gap over here. I think that's because of this section, meet us. So this is one kind of layout for post. Then you have another one, which is the featured one. Then you have this massive listing over here. And for example, this font is 23 pixels. That's a lot for a blog. I mean, for blogs nowadays, uh, uh, bigger fonts are kind of like accepted because people like a little bit bigger fonts. So maybe 18 is nice. I don't know what you use over here. Yeah, this is 14. So on your homepage, is, it's 23. And then inside of your blog post, it's 14. Like that's a huge difference in consistency. So what you wanna do is you want to design in a way that the user doesn't even notice the design. And you can do that by using consistency. So for example, use 18 over here and then also use 18 over here. And that's the same for things like rating over here. So you have a rating over here, but then if I go back to the home, there is no rating. You only have the offer over here and how long this article is gonna take you to read. Up here, that's the same. And then over here, you have extra data, which are the views. So that could be a reason to read it. But then inside of this blog post, if you scroll down, now you place a rating on top. So that suggests that you think that the rating of the post is really important. So now, what is really important for this blog? That's the question you should ask yourself. Is it really the rating that people give to the post or is the rating not that important? Do we always need to display the, the minutes? I think that's an important thing. It's, uh, it's the same for YouTube. You wanna know if this is gonna be something very long or short before you click on it, but that's not a decision that I should make. You know your audience the best. And also popular posts. Like why do you use this whole box for popular posts and then have another big one over here? Maybe you want this kind of design over here and then just a slider with three of the most popular posts. And then you don't have to use this design because that will create a little bit more consistency. And then also think about, do you wanna use the stars? Is that really important on here, right? And why not use this same design with or without the stars over here? And also you've used outlines, so borders over here. Look at that, a border inside a border. Then you go to the home and you only see a border on the outside over here. I mean, it looks nice, but it's not very consistent. Also, I think what you have to think about is the way you want people to explore your post. So on the explore page, you are using vertical scrolls, but on the home page, everything is horizontal. Did you just do this because there's too much data? Well, that's not really thinking from a user perspective because on a computer, this is not a very nice experience. On a mobile phone, it's nice. So I don't know how this website is used, but that's something to think about. Because maybe if the, if the users like this, then why also not do that on the homepage? And then, for example, I'm gonna click on the shop and then I see a new color that is purple. It's beautiful from a visual perspective, but why do I now see a new color? Because on the explore page, you use gray as a background and then this soft, yellow color. So again, for this website, I think it's super nice, super awesome what you did with WordPress, but try to bring it all a little bit more together and that will make the experience for user a little bit nicer. I hope that you found that feedback valuable. Okay, on to the next one. And the next email is from WhatsApp Studio. Hello Reno, how are you? Some time ago, I introduced you to my personal site, whatsappstudio.com. FR. Oh yeah, I remember this from an uh, earlier episode. Okay, um, today I present you my first website creation project for a client. It is a redesign of the website of a fitness club. I made this site from scratch. Model on XD, very nice. And then integration with Elementor Pro and some plugins. As this is a redesign, I'm sending you the attached screens from the old site. I love this email. I have to say guys, this is how you email me. Some people just email us, you're like, hey Reno, this is my website. Can you give feedback? Make it interesting for me and for the other people watching because now we can have a conversation about the process. That's so much cooler. Okay, let's just download his um, things. Okay, so I've downloaded the files right now and I've dragged it into XD so we can see what ha what's happening on the old website. 
Let's just take a look at his old client website. Okay, a beach background, a very wide website as you can see over here. Uh, small fonts, it's actually not that bad, but I am very curious to know like why they wanted to change. Uh, let's go back to his email. He didn't say that. Okay, so if you want to make it even more interesting for the episode, tell me what your client said about the old website. Why did they want to improve? Why did they want a new website? Right? Was it from a technical perspective or was it from a design perspective? Because it's not super bad what I'm seeing here on the old version of the website. It's maybe a little bit boring, but it's not like horrible. Oh, this is oh, this is bad, but it's <laughs> it's not horrible. Let's now take a look at the new website. Let's click on the new one, fitformtreville.fr. I don't know how to pronounce French, so I'm gonna translate the website to English. Fitness, body and pool. Okay, first of all, this homepage was of course not very good for a fitness club, like a beach, a picture of the beach, like, uh. Um, so this is of course a lot nicer, right? Fitness, body and pool. So they do fitness and things in a pool. I guess they have a video over here. Let's see. Okay, so it's a YouTube video. Okay. Um, let's just scroll. He has a scrolling plugin. Do you see it? How smooth that is? I don't know if I like that. I mean, that's just something personal. I like to be in control of the of the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> but um, okay, this looks uh, very cool. I like that you use um, colors inside of your titles. I'm also working on a website right now that, ha that has this. Just makes it nice. Also, little hover animations. There's something happening in this slider. You've played around with bolds and capitals. Letter spacing. Oh, I love these shadows. Very nice. Oh, they also have hover animations. Really cool. I actually never used this on a website. Why? It's so simple and so cool. I never use... I think this is just a witch in Elementor Pro, correct? Uh, fitness and good humor. Our, pro our programs adapted to your needs. Okay, I have to say the new website is much better. I see a new color here, yellow. Did I see that before? Let's scroll up. Oh, oh, just over here. Okay. Okay, it's always nice to have a second color uh, for, those, for those little details. Maybe you can use it in a few more places because this one is really small. Maybe also use it somewhere over here, I'm not sure, but um, I thought that this was the first time that I saw it, but it's, it's really nice. Um, it looks really premium for a gym. I don't know if they identify themselves as a gym, but you get the point. Okay, so here we can see, is this a gradient? Is this a gradient? Is this the first gradient on the website? I am not sure. Video testimonials, super cool. From a UX perspective, I think this website is great. It's very personal. And this business really looks professional for people that want to join the gym. They even have an app. Okay. Okay, that is dope. Look at those scrolling animation. Very, very cool. I love it, to be honest. I love it. What I do think is that maybe you could incorporate the style of the logo a little bit more on the website. And I know that logo is not the most modern thing we have seen this year. <laughs> but... That doesn't mean that you should totally ignore it and always go for a super modern slick design. For example, you have used gradients over here. Now I can see it in the footer. That's a very clear gradient from black to uh, uh, purple. And here you have used another kind of like backgrounds. It looks nice, but how do you make a brand stronger? You make it recognizable and how you make something recognizable is by using elements that you don't see on other websites. So in the background over here, you have used this uh, diagonal kind of like um, curtain uh, design. Then you have the gradient over here. The logo is super flat and has these borders. Why not use that outline design in a few more places? 
It's just the little things that can make a website more interesting. For example, what I've also done for one of my clients, it's a little detail, but it makes it more uh, unique, is that the logo you can see has those lines, has those outlines, but it's just a, a corner. So I've used that little corner also over here and at the beginning of each section and it's the little thing but it makes the website more unique and i see that you have an outline over here right but this is a fully transparent one then you have a white background over here and then the outline first and then you, when you scroll down it's the other way around so maybe you want to use this as the default because that's also part of the logo and then when you hover like this that it becomes the full one also over here so that it feels a little bit more like the actual logo let's click on another page prices okay i want to subscribe what maybe he missed the section over here is he done with this website i click on prices and i don't see prices oh I want to subscribe, fill out the form, know the prices. Ah, oh, maybe you need to fill in your info in order to get the prices. If that's true, I don't know if, but if that's true, because this button says know the prices, then this title should say subscribe to see the prices and not I want to subscribe. Because why do I want to subscribe, <laughs> right? Always start with the why. Um, let's click on the team. Let's see what this is. Okay. Okay. We can see a new design style over here. He has used overlaps. I didn't see that on the homepage. So here it's a little bit kind of like the same feedback as the previous website is that now you've introduced another new style that I haven't seen before because on the homepage you had those nice little tiles, um, like this, you had an image and then a big block at the bottom and then another a border over here that's a style right and you can reuse that then over here it looks absolutely awesome but you have used huge shadows and i mean two styles on the home page of course it's possible but then here here's another style super flat but overlay you see so that's also something with consistency that you can try to improve also over here you've used a separator a line i don't see lines between sections over here it's all connected and you probably did that because it's too much information so maybe you can play with the colors here maybe make this one yellow so it also creates some contrast here again two very different kind of backgrounds does it look cool yes but you get the point it's um a little bit too much in terms of styles that's what i would improve on this website but again if this is your first client project wow wow this is really cool and this is really inspiring for a lot of people i think so i'm really happy that i opened this email and again this is also great for oh by the way this is beautiful oh nice did you do this with elementor let's see Oh, jet tabs. Okay, so he has used Croco Block. As you can see, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of Croco Block. I've made a video about that, which I will link in the card. You can build so much more cooler websites with the jet plugins. What I wanted to say for your first website, this is absolutely amazing. Try to work on your consistency and make sure that everything is clear from a user perspective. Titles like I want to subscribe, doesn't really help you, your clients, or the actual uh, consumers. All right, that's all I wanted to say for this website. And for the other people, this is his old design. I love it when you sent me the old design. Um, and it's definitely a lot better than, than this design. But I want to know a little bit more about the story. What, this, what did the client didn't like about this website? Why did they want a new website? Because then we can see if you actually improved it or made it worse. <laughs> I'm not saying that you made it worse because I think that you made it better. But am I really sure? Right? It's kind of like an assumption. So give me a little bit more context. This is also true for everybody. So if you also want feedback on your work, make sure to go to this page. Read, guys, read before you send an email because then your chances of me opening the email is much bigger. It also has to be interesting for the show. I can't just open every email because there are just too many. So I have to filter. 
So that's why I said, make sure to tell me what kind of feedback you want, visual UX conversion marketing. But now that I'm reading my own text, maybe I should add an extra point in here that says, tell me a little bit about the story. What was the uh, old version? Why did you wanna make this change? I'm gonna add that to this page. So it's also more clear for you guys. It's also a little bit my fault, okay? <laughs> I must admit. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope that you liked this episode. And again, all the episodes of Mail Time, you can always find them at the uh, YouTube channel and then just go over here to, to Mail Time or click on the playlist and there you will also find the other episodes. Okay, guys, I hopefully will see you in the next episode.